My name's Peter. I'm a grad. Um, I'm wondering if it's possible to, in a sense, move up the loving line while still releasing a relationship. Um, I have a relationship with my brother, and you know, it's 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 gotten a lot better. I don't feel like I'm judging him anymore, or like I'm. Um, imposing my will on him. But he doesn't show any loving that I can see towards me. I, I, I know he loves me. He just doesn't show it. Um, and he's not willing to really make any sacrifices in a relationship that we're going to have. Um, or that's my perception of it. I feel like I'm, I'm I'm trying repeatedly to be in relationship with him, and he's just not there. Uh, he's moving to India in a couple days, and uh, I offered to uh, try to meet him before he left, and he just it, it wasn't it, it wasn't important to him. Uh, so I'm feeling real a lot. Of, I'm feeling a lot of pain around that relationship. <laughs> But I would offer to you, Pete, when you spoke about the hurt that you have with regard to your brother, to me that is a spiritual opportunity. You know, to give that hurt a voice. If that, if that hurt could speak, what would it say? okay I, I just I know it's it would be like why you know why 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 can't we have the relationship that I'd like to have with yeah you? why don't you love me exactly yeah 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 so often I find there's the tendency to just want to cut the person out of our lives because it's a way of trying to eliminate the pain. But really the pain is feedback saying, this is in indicating there's something unresolved inside of me. So even if I cut him out of my life, that pain is not going to be resolved. It may be more dormant, it may become more subterranean, but it's not really resolved. See, and I want to encourage you in allowing yourself the vulnerability of expressing that pain. Maybe you do it through freeform writing. Maybe you do it through self-counseling since you're a graduate and giving the part inside that has pain about this a voice. And you know from your USM education that healing is the application of loving to the parts inside that hurt. So it would behoove you to become the loving brother to that place inside where you have the emotional pain. So you start relating with yourself in the way that you wish he would relate to you, with the compassion and the, the kindness, the sweetness, the being there for. Because that's part of what I, I really hear this is about. You really would love it if your brother were there for you in the way that you'd like him to be. And that part inside that has that, let's just call it in a way, an unrequited love. See, it's like you can go inside there and you can be the loving brother. Yeah. You can show up for you in the way you'd like him to. Yeah, yeah it's amazing talking to you guys, because, I mean, it, it, suddenly I think I'm a grad, and all the work's done, and <laughs> get up. And <laughs> it's just the beginning. <laughs> and one other thing, it's not true that he doesn't love you. See, the truth is, again, spiritual perspective, he loves you the way 
he loves him. If you go high enough, it's like we come into a family together or we marry someone. Well, it's like when you come into a family together, it's like we're there spiritually in service to each other to assist each other in completing certain things, in resolving certain issues, in learning how to love more unconditionally. You know, and so these close relationships, like to me a brother <coughs> relationship, that's part of, that, that's like saying, that's required curriculum for me in this lifetime. Mm. Wasn't optional. Not somebody who's really on the periphery of my life. In my family. The degree to which this disturbs you really is an indication of how important it is for you to complete it. And you're very capable of completing it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you.